Hey everybody, Jim here. I just wanted to take a moment to create a video for you guys and show you a couple things in the Inventor HSM turning package. Uh, one of which would be how we can use a multi-body solid to establish our stock and finish part in our setup. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to switch over here to my model tab and you can see real quickly that I've uh, created a solid that is representative of my finished part and I also have a second solid that I created inside of here and I'll turn its visibility back on uh, that represents what my uh, starting stock is going to be so in this case this is a uh, sheet metal drawn part formed and I need to ring off the ID and the OD of this part uh, so I'm going to use that initial part as my stock and then my finished part as my turning profile in the setup. So let's jump into the cam tools and I'll create a setup at this point. We'll click on the turning operation and I'm going to select the outer diameter of one of those two models as my z-axis and I'm going to look at how my view cubes are in and I'm going to flip my X so that it's normal to that. All right, so now we have our normal X and our Z the way we want it. Uh, let's look at our model then. We'll select the uh, button for that. And I'm going to come out here into the model screen. And you'll notice as I get onto the model, my stock model highlights and my finished part highlights. So we'll select the finished part so that we grab our profiles and turn on our spun profile then since we're doing turning operations. And then on the stock tab then what we're going to do is hit our mode drop down and turn that into a from solid. And now we can come back out into the model screen and that solid that we created for our stock select that and that'll establish our stock model then. So now we can see what our OD for stock our ID for stock is based on the uh, part that we have created and we'll say OK then. I'm going to click back on the model browser and go into my bodies and turn off my stock just for clarity then as we go forward. So now you can see that the stock is clearly established on here and we know what we're going to turn off of this part to get to our, our final net shape then. All right, so let's take a look at uh, creating a grooving operation then to turn off this OD material. So I'm going to come to my turning tools, hit my drop down, and I'm going to go to a single groove operation uh, from my tools then. In my tool library, I've actually gone in and created some tools ahead of time for this so that we can take a look at them. Uh, I've created a 90 degree outside tool, you can see from the orientation, and a 90 degree inside tool. So I'm going to right click and edit this just to show you what's going on inside of here. Uh, so on the insert then, I just created an insert that's representative of a square insert that I'll be using. And a holder. Uh, I'm going to create a face grooving holder, which sounds kind of odd, but it's the way it's going to work for us. And I'm going to set it up in a left-hand orientation to do an outside operation then. All right. And I'm going to set it up at 90 degrees. And we'll go with that. All right. So the opposite for my inside turning is going to be instead of the holder being a left hand it's going to be a right hand all right so we'll select that tool so our left side select that guy for our outside tool on our confinement or our geometry tab our groove position is going to be on the center line of this flange uh, so what I did is I created a face split, and I'll show you how to do that on the inside diameter, uh, just like I did for this outside. So on the face split, I'm going to select that center of stock line, and I'm going to select my radius, or heights tab now, and set up what my ID OD is. Uh, so since we used that stock model, now for our stock inner radius, we're going to set that to stock OD or model OD, excuse me, and that's our depth of cut. And then our stock OD that we have from our setup model, 
is our outside and we'll set this up at say a half inch clearance then. Uh, the next thing I want to do is, you know, typically when you're doing a sheet metal turn part like this, we can't just wring this all off in one operation or we can't, uh, we can't make a motion in Z uh, for fear that we might deform that flange. So we're going to use a pecking operation so we don't get a big bird's nest here. Um, we'll set this to, uh, let's say we're going to run off uh, quarter inch increments and we're going to make 50 thou retracts as we do that step then. So we'll take a look at that. We'll say OK here. And now we can see what our steps are going to look like as we come in. So let's right click and simulate. Now we've got our stock model that shows up, which is nice. We have our clearance, our retract. And let's go ahead and slow this down just a little bit so we can see the steps. That looks pretty good. So I'll right click and close the simulation. Uh, I've noticed that I don't like the the setup home position. So I'm going to right click edit my home position then. And from here, instead of being, you know, 200 thousandths, we're going to make this about six inches. And that way, um, when we generate this back up, we'll have plenty of room to come in here and get our, our part in and out with our tools out of the way then. So that looks good so far. All right, so let's do the setup now for the ID. So I'm going to click on my 3D model tools. I'm going to go to my work features, and I'm going to create a mid-plane between two planes. Now what this is going to do is keep a plane on the center line of the stock for me. So I'm going to select the back face of my stock, and I'm going to click the inside face, and I get that work plane that now lives on the center line of my stock for me. Pretty easy, not too hard to create that. So I'm going to use my 3D modeling split tool, and this allows me to use things like work planes to split a solid up into different things. So I'll select that. The first option here is just to split the face, and that's all we need to do. We don't need to split the solid up into different chunks. So the split tool is actually going to be the work plane we created, and then the face is going to be that thickness wall on the part that we want to give us another set of driving geometry. So I'll say OK here and then on the model tree or with a right click in our window we can turn the visibility of that that work plane back off. So now you can see we've got a a nice piece of geometry just like we did on the OD to set up that groove. So we'll go back to our cam tools on the tab, go to our turning, select a single groove again, for our tool, instead of our OD, we're going to use our ID tool. So I'll come down here to my library, sample turning tools that I created. We'll expand that out so I can see the ID. Select that. And our geometry again is going to be that center line position. Our clearance. We need to pull down on the inside now since we're doing an inside operation. We'll flip this from outside to inside as well. So we're going to say we're going to be minus 0.5 inches from the inside of stock, which is nice. And then our outer radius is going to be our model ID then. So we'll call that model ID and that knows where our finish ID is. And that looks good there. We'll go to our pecking on the passes tab, turn that on. We'll set that again to that quarter inch increment. Say OK. Now we've got a inside and an outside. We'll just quickly generate that toolpath. Now we can simulate the whole part So we have both operations now, and we'll rotate around so we can see that clearly. We'll slow that down and do a quick replay so everybody can catch that again. 
There's our steps on the outside. Switch to our inside tool. Run that up inside there. Looks pretty good. Let's do a quick stock comparison now. We can see we're turned all the way off now, both ID and OD. So there you have it. Uh, you know, just a quick setup, you know, how to use a multi-body solid for our raw stock and our finished net part. And then a couple ways to do an ID and an OD grooving operation using 90 degree tools. Hey, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you have a great day.